Welcome, in this video I will show you how to use the autoresponder module. Let's start, scroll down and select the autoresponder module. Enable the module via the enable button. Click on save changes. Here you can choose your own channel cooldown. This is how long the bot should wait before it responds to another trigger. The cooldown is channel based. The number you can fill in is in seconds. The minimum time for this is 10 seconds. We are using 10 for this video. Click on set cooldown and click on save changes. You can set up the autoresponder in two ways. This can be done via the dashboard and via the server itself. You can only create plain text replies via the server. The trigger is the word or phrase that your bot should respond to. For this video we use bot ghost. The trigger type is when your bot should respond if a member types in the trigger. You can choose between message starts with the trigger, message is exactly the trigger or message includes the trigger. We are using message is exactly the trigger for this video. The reply type is whether to reply with a plain text or an embed message. We are using the plain text response for this video. The reply content is the content your bot will respond to when the auto response is triggered. We will enter hello bot ghost user for this video. Click on add autoresponder message and click on save changes. I will now show you in Discord that it works. It works, I'm now going to show you how to make the autoresponder via the chat commands and which other commands are still there. We will first create a new autoresponder command. You can choose between three types, includes, exact or starts with. Includes, this means that if your trigger is mentioned in a message, the autoresponder will send the set message. Exact, this means that your message must be the same as set up for the autoresponder to send a message. Starts with, this means that the autoresponder will send the message when your message starts with the set trigger. We are going to use the includes type for this video. Now you have to choose the trigger. The trigger is the message on which the autoresponder should start working. We are using hello as the trigger for this video. Finally, you have to choose your response. Our response is hello everyone. Press enter and your new autoresponder command have been saved. I am now going to test our newly configured autoresponder command. It is working. Via the command autoresponder list, you can see current autoresponder commands and command IDs. Via the autoresponder delete command, we will delete the command with ID number 2. This autoresponder command has now been successfully deleted. This was the tutorial about the autoresponder module. If you have any questions please join our Discord server for 24-7 support.